Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a significant move towards enhancing its aerial capabilities, the Indonesian government recently conducted trials of the Spanish Alpha A900 fuel-powered helicopter unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, at Hussein Sastranegra International Airport in West Java on March 18, 2024. The trials were primarily focused on assessing the UAV's performance in target detection and its potential role in supporting field artillery operations. The participation of high-ranking officials, including the Chief of the Army Artillery Center and Directors of Equipment, Training, and Material and Equipment, underscores the strategic importance attached to these trials. The evaluations form part of Indonesia's ongoing assessment of the Alpha A900 UAV suitability for deployment by the Indonesian Coast Guard to monitor maritime sectors and identify anomalies within Indonesian territorial waters. The UAV's integration into the Indonesian Medan artillery system is also under consideration, with the aim of enhancing target identification and location for forward observers. The Indonesian Maritime Services, including the Indonesian Maritime Security Agency, Bakamla, are increasingly looking towards unmanned systems like the Alpha A900 for maritime surveillance and interdiction tasks. This shift represents a cost-effective alternative to traditional shipborne helicopter capabilities and is expected to influence the allocation of maritime security resources and operational engagements of Indonesian Navy vessels, particularly in safeguarding the nation's territorial waters and exclusive economic zones. The trials also serve as an opportunity to compare the technical capabilities of the Alpha A900 against existing UAVs developed by the Army Artillery Center's R&D Division. This evaluation is part of broader efforts to modernize Indonesia's artillery systems in alignment with contemporary operational requirements. Originating from the Spanish company Alpha Unmanned Systems, the Alpha A900 is set to be assembled in Indonesia through partnerships with local companies PT Global Defense and PT MS Tech. The UAV boasts several technical specifications tailored for its intended operational role, including capabilities to operate in challenging maritime conditions. Equipped with features such as automatic landings on moving vessels under adverse sea states and autorotation and flotation devices for emergency scenarios, the A900 demonstrates its suitability for maritime surveillance missions. Key technical features of the Alpha A900 include protection against electromagnetic interference, an onboard generator for powering payloads, a laser altimeter, and navigation lights. Additionally, the UAV is equipped with technology for operating in GPS-denied environments, ensuring operational flexibility in various scenarios. In terms of capabilities, the Alpha A900 offers Autonomous Vertical Takeoff and Landing VTOL, from moving vessels, extended endurance of more than two and a half hours, and the ability to utilize heavy fuel for prolonged usage. With minimal logistical requirements and versatile payload options, including support for intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, missions, border control, maritime security, search and rescue operations, infrastructure inspection, and communications relays, the A900 proves to be adaptable for a wide range of missions. Overall, the ongoing trials of the Spanish Alpha A900 UAV mark a significant step forward in Indonesia's efforts to modernize its aerial capabilities and enhance its maritime surveillance capabilities. The outcomes of these evaluations will likely shape future procurement decisions and contribute to the continued advancement of Indonesia's defense capabilities in the region. That's all for now. See you later.